Hi everyone! Maging matalino, matgaling, matanda dito sa Mat Survival Kit! Good day everyone, welcome to Mat Survival Kit Episode 3 So today we're going to talk about the greatest common factor So I'm going to teach you different methods on how to get the greatest common factor on our Mat Survival Kit Episode 3 Okay, let's start! Let's have first the concept by defining the greatest common factor, the greatest common factor or the GCM is the greatest factor that divides two numbers. So there are three methods for us to be able to solve or to get the greatest common factor of the given numbers. The first one is the listing method. In this method, we're going to list out the factors of each given number. And then after having the list, we will get the their common factors. Let's have first the first example. What is the greatest common factor of 6 and 15? So again, let's have a list of factors of 6 first. So we have here the factors of 6 which are 1, 2, 3 and 6 followed by the next number let's have the factors of 15 which are 1 3 5 and 15 after that we're going to observe their commonalities which are in this particular examples are 1 and 3 so that's what we call the common factor since we're talking about the greatest common factor we will get the largest among the common factors and in this condition the largest of the of the common factors is 3 so therefore 3 is now considered as the greatest common factor of 6 and 15 let us have a similar example on this method what if we are asked to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 16. Again, let's have first the list of factors of 12. And those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Then followed by the factors of 16, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So as you can see, we have three pairs of common factors here, which are 1, 2, and 4. Again, since we are talking about the greatest common factor, we will get the largest of the three factors, and that is 4. So therefore, the greatest common factor of 12 and 16 is 4. And that is for first method, the listing method. This, this method is intended for the smaller number, but there are methods that we can use in the larger numbers. Starting with the second method, which is the list of prime factors. So we are talking about here the factor 3 or the prime factors from the prime factorization so we're going to have a list of the prime factors of a particular given number and then we will get all their commonalities okay let's have first this example what is the greatest common factor of 28 and 42 again let's have the list of prime factors of 28 Okay, so we have here, again, we're talking about here prime numbers only, you know, the prime number factors of 28. And that is 2 times 2 times 7 because 2 times 2 times 7 is equal to 48. So those are the prime factors of 28. After that, we will have also 
the list of prime factors of 42 and that is 2 times 3 times 7 because 2 times 3 is 6 times 7 is 42 after that as highlighted here we will get the pairs of common prime factors of 28 and 42 and then as and as you can see we have 2 and 7 so what we're going to do with 2 and 7 we're going to multiply the two common prime factors and that's how we get the greatest common factor using this method the least of prime factors so by multiplying we get here 2 times 7 which is equal to 14 so therefore the greatest common factor of 28 and 42 is 14 let us have a similar example for this method what if we are asked to find the greatest common factor of 36 and 45 so let's have first the prime factors of 36 that is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 so 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 times 3 is 36 let's have the prime factors of 45 so we have here 3 times 3 times 5 again these are the prime factors no prime number factor so we have 3 times 3 is 9 times 5 is 45 and then we get the pairs of common factors we have here two pairs of three so that is three times three so by multiplying we have three times three that is equal to nine so therefore the greatest common factor of 36 and 45 is nine the next method is the most useful method for any number or group or pair of numbers we can say even the smaller one or the larger one we can use the third method to find the greatest common factor this is the most useful i think of the three method because method number three is what we call the repeated division so how are we going to do that so let's have first the example we are asked here to find the greatest common factor of 60 and 72 so what we're going to do is to have a continuous division of these two so until we don't until we don't have their common factor there okay so let's start with the first one okay let us suppose we're going to divide simultaneously the two given 60 and 72 by 3 so when we divide them we have 60 divided by 3 that is 20 and then 70 divided by 3 is 24 so we still have a common factor of 20 and 24 so we will divide it by 2 not very obvious that we can divide the 2 by 2 okay so we divide 20 by 2 we will get 10 and 24 divided by 2 we will get 12 and still we can see that there is still common factor again we can divide the two numbers by 2 so let us divide again 10 divided by 2 we have 5 and 12 divided by 2 we have 6 as you can see now we have the remaining quotient which are 5 and 6 and 5 and 6 that has no more common factor aside from 1 so what we're going to do now is to get all the three factors that we divided from the top since 60 and 72 until 5 and 6 we'll get all these numbers and then we multiply them so to get the GCF using the repeated division, we will get all the factors that uh, we have divided by this number. So we have 3 times 2 times 2. So by multiplying the 3, we will get their greatest common factor. So that is equal to 
12. So the greatest common factor of 60 and 72 is 12. Let's have a similar example using the third method, the repeated division. Okay, I have here we are we are asked here to find the greatest common factor of 48 and 56. So what we're going to do is to divide the two repeatedly by their common factor. So the very obvious factor of 48 and 56 is 2. So let us divide the two numbers by 2. So that's, that is 48 divided by 2. We will have 24. 56 divided by 2. We have 28. And again, we can still divide the two numbers by 2. So let us divide again by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12 and 28 divided by 2 is 14 and as you can observe we can still divide the two numbers by 2 they are still divisible by 2 so we have I it, you can divide any number as long as the two numbers can be divided by that factor so that is 12 divided by 2 we have 6 and 14 divided by 2 we have 7 uh, as you can see now, 6 and 7 does not have common factors. So we get now the three numbers that we have used to divide the two numbers, which are two, the three twos, and then we're going to multiply them. And that is 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 8. So that is our greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of 48 and 56 is equal to 8. Okay, so I think we are ready now for our fast exercise. All we need to do is to find the greatest common factor of the following pair of numbers. Number 1, 9, and 12. Number 2, 14, and 28. Number 3, 18, and 42. Number 4, 25, and 45. Number 5, 64, and 72. Number 6, 45, and 81. And you can decide. You are free to decide which of the three methods you're going to use as long as you get the greatest common factor of the two pairs of number. I'll give you three minutes to finish this exercise and your three minutes starts now. Oh, it doesn't start. Let's go back to the slide. Okay, so let's begin. One minute.
last 10 seconds. Time is up. Okay, let us now have the answers on your exercises. We have here the... Okay, I reveal the answers. So we have here for number one, we have three. For number two, we have seven. For number three, we have six. Number four, the GCF is five. Number five, the GCF is eight. And number six, the GCF is nine. Congratulations and thank you for watching the Mass Survival Kit Episode 3. And I think see you next episode because on the next episode, we're going to talk about the least common multiple or the LCM. Thank you for watching. This is Sir Phil and this is Sir Phil's channel. Thank you for watching the Mass Survival Kit. Yeah. Bye.